This sugarcane plantation is found in Bufutula village in Namungari sub-county. Despite being a school day, most of the workers on site are children of school-going age. Titus Waswa, a 12-year-old boy, is one of the young boys employed on this plantation. He says he has to work because his mother does not earn enough money to cater for all the family's needs. Baba ya fayali ka mama, mama ya nkuza. Giovanni ni grambi ka dokola, mpenga sobolo ve sao mama. Ate sente di namba. Mungeri na na embera yo yo butantu ala mchintu cha work cha kuiba. Waswa's case is not unique and in fact Child labor is quite common all over Uganda. Recent data from the Uganda Bureau of Statistics indicates that 15% of children aged 5 to 17 years in Uganda are still engaged in child labor and are often exposed to hazardous conditions in the workplace. Now, in order to end the practice of child employment, the government of Uganda has launched a national strategic plan to end child labor. Uganda has also joined Alliance 8.7, a coalition of countries committed to accelerating target 8.7 of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals that seeks to reduce child labor in all its forms by 2025. According to the State Minister for Youth and Children Affairs, anyone below the working age should be in school. We are out today to make it crystal clear, loud and clear, that we are not going to tolerate anybody below the working age to be employed. And we agitate that all people are of school going age, especially those below the age of 14, should have their offices in schools. According to Ismail Kalanda, the principal officer in the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, the main objective of joining Alliance 8.7 is to accelerate the already ongoing activities to reduce child labor. The activities are already there. I told you there was a national action plan that ended in 2017-18 and it lasted for the past five years. So we are just re reviewing and renewing it. However, it remains to be seen if this alliance will make this a thing of the past by 2030. Sandra Tuinovidio, NTV Tonight.